aluminum bromide is what you get when you combine aluminum, a metal, and I know it's a metal because it's on the left-hand side of this semi-metal staircase that you find on periodic tables, combining with bromine, a non-metal from the right-hand side of the staircase. It's important to identify that we have a metal and a non-metal because that makes its product an ionic compound. And that occurs because electrons are transferred from the metal to the non-metal. What electrons? Well, aluminum is in group 13 and so brings three valence electrons with it in a neutral atom. Bromine is in group 17, Br17, which means each bromine atom brings seven valence electrons with it. Br, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Love it. Now, nonmetals want eight electrons in their outer shell to be stable. It's called the octet rule, and it makes them like a noble gas. At least how, that's how chemists explain it. This bromine has seven already. Where is it going to get its eighth? Hmm. Aluminum, a metal, does not mind giving up its electrons. So it does. And that's great. This bromine is now stable because it has a full octet, or eight electrons, but aluminum still has an extra two. Where are they going to go? Hmm. Why don't we bring in another bromine atom, which, having, br having brought seven valence electrons, can accept one more. And a third bromine, which, bringing seven valence electrons, can also accommodate one more. I'm going to draw an arrow from this aluminum to that bromine to show one electron transferring from metal to non-metal, and a third. Now I got some bromines and they all have eight electrons. I got aluminum, which has none left. That means its new outer shell is the one that's like not shown and it's full by default. So he's stable too. Nice. We needed one aluminum to distribute its electrons across three bromines. So it's not a surprise that the chemical formula for aluminum bromide is AlBr3. Let's draw the Lewis structure together. Aluminum does not have any electrons left in what was its outer shell. So it has a plus three charge that represents the loss of three minus one charged electrons. And we need to show three bromines. Oof. So I'm going to draw a bromine with eight electrons, seven, that it brought plus one from the aluminum with a minus one charge to represent that gain of one electrons. And now for completeness, I need to replicate that another two times. There's my second bromine. I'll put a third bromine in here with its minus one charge and eight electrons. Beautiful. There is my finished Lewis structure. There's your finished Lewis structure. It's beautiful. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.